And in this video, I'm going to be showing the different steps to go when you are when you want to buy a piece of land in Nigeria. All right. So here's the thing: it's a fantastic idea to buy a piece of land in Nigeria. Owning a piece of land in Nigeria is a fantastic idea. As a matter of fact, it's a very good return on investment for your money. All right. You can either decide to build a house with the piece, on the piece of land, or you can decide to um, build a shopping plaza or a commercial or a, or a rental stores. Or even a warehouse or you can even decide to use the land for farming either way is owning a piece of land is a fantastic idea right so before we go on please subscribe to this channel the notification bell like this video so that whenever we put out these these types of content you will be the first to know all right so here here here's the thing most times in investing there are a few things we need to know so as to avoid being scammed or doing a bad investment all right over time a lot of people in nigeria have been scammed and a lot of companies especially fake real estate companies have swindled swindled people of their hard earned money all right so we'll put together a checklist a few things that you need to know or go through before buying a property in nigeria the first thing is you need to be mindful of of course your budget and, and location the first thing to check is your budget and location of course, I'm talking about the budget and location together because the the location influences the budget, all right? The location influences the, the cost, all right? So I live in Enugu State, all right? I'm a realtor in Enugu State. And if you're buying a property in independence layout in Enugu State, it will not be the same amount as buying in MNA, all right? Or buying in Afapa or in Nikkei, all right? They are two different, different prices, okay? And that is simply because of the, the location. Independence layout is a hot demand area. It has a lot of major Enugu landmarks and even the government house is at independence layout, okay? It's developed, fully developed and everything. So buying a piece of property there is different from buying from the outskirts of Enugu state, okay? So that influences your budget as well. Another thing that influences your budget is your goals and time frame so what are your goals what are your time frames what why are you buying the piece of land what do you want to use it for okay so that can also affect your your buying decision number two two a now you need to ask for the right land document it's important that you ask for the right land document if you do not have the right document chances of losing your land or your property is very high all right because all lands belongs to the government and if for any reason tomorrow they come and say okay they need your piece of land to do something of course which they are supposed to compensate you if you do not have the right document you have lost that land or if you fall into the wrong hands you're likely going to lose the land all right now here are four critical documents you need to ask for even before paying paying for the land okay the first is certificate of occupancy you need to ask if the land has the right kind of document of course it's not just certificate of occupancy there are other kinds of documents that are good like a gazette or like the governor's consent i did a video that explains each of these documents in details why you need them what they are for and how you can get them i'll leave the link below this video so that you can go and watch it after now all right next you need a copy of the survey plan a copy of the survey plan it's important you get this particular document then you need a deed of assignment a deed of assignment this is given to you after you have been you have you have been physically allotted all right your own piece of land all right then you should have a deed of assignment the deed of assignment must be duly signed and stamped by the real estate company all right next you need a tax clearance certificate now the reason why you're asking for a tax clearance certificate is so as so as to be sure that this real estate company is genuine or this real estate agent or this real estate group of people are genuine all right again i did a i did a video why on on different steps you should take in order to know the genuinity of a real estate company all right i'll leave the link in the in the description so that i can also watch that one okay so these are the four major documents that you need to ask for all right before buying the piece of land okay now after making your purchase what other kinds of documents should you look out for the number one is a confirmation payment of receipts 
of course they ought to give you a confirmation payment of receipt all right number two contract of sales i work with some real estate companies and all the real estate companies i work with give the issue a contract of sale they also give you an allocation letter that allocation letter is done after physical allocation is is um, after you've gotten your physical allocation all right deed of assignment as well after assigning you to your plot they give you a deed of assignment duly signed and stamped then the survey plan okay these are documents you need to have after you've made your purchase right number three tip in buying buying land in nigeria is to avoid sentiments at all costs we've had cases several cases where individuals have especially those in diaspora all right they go through their family friends relatives uncles aunties and they buy through them because of the fact that they want to just buy through them sentiments buying out of emotions most times it backfires we have a case in our hands right now of a a man that just came back from the uk and whilst in the uk for six years he's been sending money to his older brother to build him an apartment in nigeria a house in nigeria so buy a land and build a house all right he came back after six years and to just to discover that he does not have a house in nigeria yet rather the elder brother used the money to build the house for himself and whilst he was in the uk he was busy sending him pictures of his own house the case is currently ongoing okay so avoid this at all costs please don't be emotional with buying your land as a matter of fact guess what your relatives friends family are also more interested in what they can get from you so please do your checks and ver verifications as well don't just buy from face value okay my uncle said this or my auntie said is good all right please go do your checks hire the services of a commercial lawyer all right hire the services of a registered surveyor this is important so as to be sure and as to make sure that you don't make mistakes in buying your property ask questions no sentiment ask a lot of questions number four tip you need to have or you need to know before buying a piece of property in nigeria a piece of land in nigeria is please inspect the land if you're not around to inspect it please send someone send a trusted friend or a trusted relative to go see the land if possible they can do a virtual inspection for you all right do a video of the property look everywhere in the property to be sure that the, comp the property is free from every government acquisition all right you're going to be seeing signages you're going to be seeing markings if that particular property is not free okay so that is why physical inspection is there and besides sometimes on getting to the location you may not just like it you may not just like the environment all right or what they told you may not be what you saw okay so it's important that you do a physical inspection don't just buy based off of what they told you or what the the real estate agent told you or the real estate consultant or your uncle or your auntie or your mother told you please do a physical um, inspection that way you are sure that this property is free from every form of um, encumbrances all right step number five please document your payment document your payment process i had a case of a client all right that did an atm transfer and she was not able to get it, an evidence of payment and of course there was there was some problems with the transaction and then um, she had to go through a lot of stress in order to recover her money okay so please number one no cash transactions don't do any form of cash transactions even if they are going to issue a receipt please pass your payments through the bank i know this sounds like a cliche or it so sounds like i mean like common sense but just to be sure all right so no atm transactions no cash transactions please make sure that all your transactions are documented effectively okay because this is what will help you in future if there's any form of challenges all right so hold all the original payments everything original please have them have them with you possibly go with a physical witness if it's possible to go with a physical witness go with someone to witness your payment all right and also here's the thing by the time you're making the payment the real estate company or the real estate agent or uh, the, the real estate consultant is excited and so if you ask the, the witness you came in to film you right to film the, the signing of the receipt or the payment or whatever it is or you when you're signing your check film it if possible 
so as to get hard concrete evidence in future all right next here are some there are some additional costs that comes with buying a land so number one is this survey plan so let's say you buy a land for three million naira. by the way that's that's the amount for one of our properties here in Enugu State. A fantastic property, C of O, everything, 3 million naira, right? So if you're buying a property for 3 million naira, for instance, okay, you are going to be making a payment for this survey plan. Now, usually this costs between 100 and 300,000 naira. Normally, the, the estate, if you're buying from a company, all right, like our company, we already have a survey plan for the entire estate. So if you hire a, a registered surveyor, it should cost you between say 100 and 300,000 naira for ours about 150,000 naira okay then then there are some legal and agency fees all right that you ought to pay now most times for some real estate company they handle this and so you can wave it off so usually it goes from between 5 to 10 percent of the total cost of the land okay next is corner plot demarcation so, and that costs you be some sometimes between 10 to 50,000 naira depending on the, the, the real estate company Okay. Number four is something called development fee and this also depends on the real estate company. What this simply means is this fee is simply when you're ready to build a house. Okay, So let's say you buy a piece of land in a real estate company, of course, of which I advise you do. I did a very extensive video on it. Leave the link below this video so you get to see it. Usually if you're buying from an estate, okay, there are, all, there are development stuff that happens in the estate. Infrastructure, the roads, water, security okay street lights and all of that all right so they add it to your development fee when you're ready to build but if you're just buying for land banking or you're buying to sell later then you may not worry about this however these are a few costs that come up after buying a piece of land all right next next number seven is you need to be mindful of omonile otherwise called land grabbers all right these are people these are like children of the land owners okay so usually if you're buying from a family a large family usually after you've made payment to one person other people may want you to make payment to them sometimes as well is the indigents of the environment where you bought the land from these are really unscrupulous individuals who like to just extort people they come harass you and want to take money from you now when they come don't get confrontational because usually they are armed and, and dangerous they are ready to fight okay this is the more reason why i usually uh, I advise my clients and, and my friends to buy from real estate companies because the real estate companies would have taken care of all these again usually the real estate companies um, must have fenced their estates and so you, they cannot encroach because these guys or Manilis, sometimes they encroach into your land especially when you've not secured the land properly all right other times they also know that that land has some dispute on it all right which leads me to my eight points be careful of lands in dispute those guys know okay so sometimes they let you buy they allow you to buy after you've bought they come and take the land from you or they come and and keep starting you if you also buy sometimes before you build they come there and charge you to build okay again this is why i usually encourage you to buy from a real estate company because the real estate company will take care of all these things so all you have to do is pick your plot they've already fenced the place and they shield you from all these things finally take possession of your land once you've paid made your payment you're sure that the land documents are good and correct next finally you need to take possession of your land and how do you take possession of your land you need to mark your land either put a perimeter fencing okay or put a signage or put um, trees and this is mostly when you bought from individuals or you bought from large families all right you do not buy from an estate because once you buy from an from a real estate company that owns an estate all right they have already done the perimeter fencing and they've marked the plots so that you don't get encroachers all right because already all the plots are marked and they've sized the land the land and they've marked it okay so there's a perimeter fencing so you don't you, you're not afraid of encroachers all right so now in summary the first thing you need to be mindful of if you're buying a piece of land in nigeria is your budget and location because the location usually influences your budget all right number two is the right documents be sure that the land has the right documents all right and i listed about four different documents you need 
right to know about number three avoid sentiments when buying your land avoid sentiments at all costs number four inspect the land don't just pay based off of face value or based off of what someone else is said please try and inspect the land if you're not around send someone to go do a virtual inspection of the land for you number five document your payment process please document all your payments all right because tomorrow that is what will help you secure your land in case there's any form of issues all right number six there are some additional costs that come with buying a land and of course i listed a couple of them in this video number seven please be mindful of omanile especially if you're buying places like lagos ogun abuja all right these people are available and they are going to come after you all right so that is exactly again why i recommend you buy from real estate company because they will shield you from these guys okay number eight please be mindful that you're not buying a land that has disputes okay be careful be mindful ask questions involve professionals in professional lawyer and involve registered surveyor okay that way you can avoid lands with disputes okay number nine take possession of your land after you, you're sure that all these things have been done and gone correct then take possession of your land again if you like this video please hit the subscribe button like and, and drop a comment i'd like to know which other points here that we need to add in order to buy a land please let me know in the comments if there's any other question you have around buying a piece of land in nigeria please let me know in the comments box i look forward to reading from you enjoy an amazing day i'll see you on the next one bye for now